probably heard that I'm just a kid from Harlem who God chose to show his favor and mercy to, right? If you've ever heard anyone ask me to tell me, tell them about my background or tell them who I am, you've heard me say that I'm just a kid from Harlem who God chose to show his favor and mercy to. But I want to tell you the blessing in that. The blessing in that, when I say Harlem, I mean the old Harlem. The old, the old Harlem, not the gentrified Harlem, the real Harlem, right? When there was garbage in the streets and it was rough and you had to know a couple things, you had to know some in and outs, you had to be street savvy to make it out of there or to even be in existence, to coexist within it, right? What that does is it gives you principles, it gives you resilience, it gives you, it gives you merit, it gives you, it gives you tenacity. Because there's something about a kid growing up in hard conditions, harsh conditions. There's something about them that is different from kids growing up with a silver spoon in their mouth on the so-called right side of the tracks. Running around in the back of the tenement buildings. Those were some of the, some of the most enjoyable times, but what they did was they prepared me for this spot. Because entrepreneurialism is not easy. Entrepreneurship takes work. There's ups and there's downs. There's ebbs and there's explodes. There's times when everything is going good and there's times when everything is going bad. And when you come from a low place, when, you, when you've experienced what real lows look like, <laughs> then when somebody doesn't close or says no to your offer, you laugh. When you're looking for someone to fulfill an obligation that they said they were in a default, you laugh. When someone backs out on a contract, you, <laughs> you laugh. And when people think that you can't make it, that you can't come through the situation, when you can't brave the storm, when you can't ride the storm, you really laugh because they don't know you and they don't know what you've been through. So listen, if you're a black entrepreneur from an urban setting, <laughs> I know what you've been through. I know you've got what it takes. I know you've been where it matters, where it counts. See, a lot of times in entrepreneurship, we have to train people up in how to deal with stress. If you're from an urban setting, stress is your background. You gotta worry about that. Fear, loss, the fear of loss, the fear of risk, danger. If you're black, you've grown up in danger, all around danger your entire life, so you already know what it takes. So you don't know it now, <laughs> but you were born an entrepreneur because your entire life has been a struggle and your entire life has been a gamble. But I'm gonna show you a system. I wanna take your hustle and show you a system. I wanna take your struggle and turn it into a process. And I want to take your experience and turn it into successful, sustainable entrepreneurship. So when you're ready, we're present, and we know you because we are you. Let's grow.